Hello YouTube, I'm Vince White, I'm an employment attorney, and we're talking about employee retention. Uh, no, I mean, here's what we're talking about. For a while, under the CARES Act, the federal government was paying what's called an employee retention credit, right? If an employer didn't fire too many of their employees during COVID, during the pandemic and the resulting economic crisis that we're in, um, they were getting checks from the federal government quarterly, each quarter of the year. And that was to continue um, past quarter four of this year, right? It's uh, the 16th of November right now in 2021. And those employers were set to get another credit at the end of this quarter. Uh, a lot of employers are hurting very, very badly right now. So, uh, you know, many of them are looking forward to that credit and it helps them to maintain the employees and it gives them a motivation and incentive to keep their employees employed, right? Um, but in all of its wisdom, <clears throat> the federal government, as part of the uh, Infrastructure Investment and Jobs Act uh, that was pushed for by President Biden, well, uh, they managed to spend $1.2 trillion, but they ended the employee retention credit. They didn't just end it. They, they ended it as of way back in September 30th, 2021. So all these employers were holding on to employees, being like, oh, we're going to be able to afford this because um, we're going to get this credit, right? That's how we're going to make this happen. We're going to keep these employees employed. And, you know, we, we know the law. If we keep these people employed, we're going to get money. Turns out, no. Not for quarter four of this year and potentially never again based on the current lay of the land. Um, Congress thought that keeping people employed and paying that credit was no longer important. So although they were spending $1.2 trillion, um, they just decided, hey, you've all been counting on this law and you've all been thinking since September 30th that this was going to be the law for this quarter and you've made economic decisions based on that to keep people employed. But funny story, no, we're not going to do it. It's over. Now, I don't normally commiserate with employers, right? I mean, normally um, I view them as kind of, you know, antagonistic to my goal of representing employees. Here, I do feel for the employers a little bit because they were count. You, you count. The government has a program and you choose. You're like, oh, because of this government program, I can keep some of my staff employed and that lets me help my employees. It's better. We're going to do this. It's going to, we can count on this. The government said we can do this. And you make economic decisions based on that. And then after you spend a bunch of money and you keep people employed, it's gone. Just gone. Just over. And they backdated it back to September 30th of 2021. So those employers are uh, in a bit of a pickle. Now, I feel for them. But much more importantly, I feel for the employees because now a lot of employers that were hanging on by a shoestring, just barely making it work with the credit, they're going to have to fire a bunch of people. Um, it's somewhat inconceivable, inconceivable that that uh, this was done. This um, verges on insane. We're in the middle of this economic crisis, which I know the federal government seems to be lying about, Right. Um, and they just decide that they don't need to do the thing that they've been doing to help people stay employed right now in the middle of an economic crisis. I'm concerned. I'm concerned for a lot of these employees who I think are going to lose their job as a result of this. This is really a gross, um, it's a gross thing. It's a gross thing they did here. And I, I can't really tell if it's incompetence or something worse than that. I mean, I, I actually don't know what would be worse to be this incompetent or to, or to have some kind of weird agenda. Um, but it's very concerning and it's a very stunning uh, backtracking of the CARES Act. So um, I'm a couple of days late on this. I made this video on the 16th, but I'm not going to release it till Friday just because it's done. There's not really anything anyone can do. So it, it doesn't really matter how timely this video comes out, I guess. Um, but this is a bummer. This is a bummer. I'm, I'm worried about this and, um, I think this is going to hurt some people.
like and subscribe helps me to help more people just like you comment down below tell me tell me i'm wrong tell me it's all gonna be okay if you could just tell me it's all gonna be okay i just want to please just if you could just just tell me it's gonna be okay just just lie to me i need i need it to all be okay um down below take care everybody